I am a roller coaster enthusiast. Pretty obvious if you ask me. I love the thrilling aspects of roller coasters. I even started a channel, which you are watching right now, dedicated to the thrills of amusement parks. Almost 100 coaster credits, over 800 subscribers. How did I get here? This is my YouTube and coaster enthusiast story. It was December 25th, 2015, a snowy Christmas day in the state of Ohio, and I, being the small 8-year-old I was, woke up bright and early to see what gifts I got. Little did I know that these gifts would be the biggest ones yet. At the time, I loved rail fanning. I was excited to see these massive trains move along at high speeds on the tracks. We went everywhere around Ohio to see these enormous machines travel along the rails. This got little 8-year-old me thinking about the nearby Cedar Point. I heard countless comments about the park and was wondering what it was all about. I knew they had coasters, and since I loved high-speed machines traveling on rails, I thought I might like one of them. So for Christmas in 2015, I got a Cedar Point Season Pass. Along with that, I got pivot head glasses to record safe on-ride videos of the coasters. I waited through the long winter and spring months, and finally, it was May of 2016. I boarded my first big coaster, the Iron Dragon, and was holding on for dear life the entire way. As soon as I stepped off the Iron Dragon, I knew that I loved it. We lapped Iron Dragon four times before heading down to the other 48-inch height requirement coasters. We hit up Corkscrew, which at the time I liked. The sensation of going upside down at high speeds was such a thrill for me. But I then built up the courage to try the Magnum. It was rough, but I enjoyed every second of it, and I knew that I would be back many times to ride the coasters. I rode all of the other coasters that I could ride except for one. That one was Millennium Force. The 300-foot behemoth of a coaster was absolutely terrifying to me. I was nervous that I would fall out of the drop. I guess all of those GP videos got into my mind. It took me a few more visits to build up the courage to ride Millennium. On a weekend in June, I hopped on board, and it might have been the best decision of my life. Millennium was easily my favorite coaster at the time, and I knew that I had to find the others near me that were as great as Millie. So for the next few months, I looked up the best coasters, and I found incredible looking rides near me, including Diamondback and The Voyage. I knew that I wanted to go to more parks and become the next roller coaster enthusiast. For Christmas of 2016, I got another wonderful gift. It was a laptop, along with a video editor and a video recorder, which I still use today. I was really into coasters, and of course, as every 9 year old was, I was into video games. I started my channel called Coaster Gamer on December 30th, 2016. My first video was... Silver Streak, the RMC version of Mean Streak. That you just heard was my voice four years ago. Silver Streak, the RMC version of Mean Streak was my first video. I also made plenty of gaming videos with my cousin, whose name I disguised using his gamer tag, Alienide. I also hid my coaster count at the time, as I had only ridden about 10 coasters. Don't make fun of me, okay? Throughout the winter months, I made tons of videos about roller coasters and gamings. May hit, and I was tall enough for the bigger attractions. Maverick was my favorite in 2017, along with Dragster and Gatekeeper. These ones were really thrilling to me, and Gatekeeper holds a special place in my heart as it was the first ever BNM I rode. I posted POVs that sounded like trash because of the weird glasses I had. I would keep these pivot head glasses for over three years before upgrading in 2020 but more on that later. In July, I visited my first new amusement park. Kings Island in Mason, Ohio was only three hours away, so we made the trek to check out Banshee, Beast, and the new for 2017, Mystic Timbers. Mystic Timbers grew to be one of my favorite coasters, and is still to this day. In October, I visited Dollywood. It was a wonderful park, and while I didn't ride Thunderhead because of the roughness, I got to experience my new favorite coaster, Lightning Rod. During these winter months, I kept pumping out gaming videos. Nothing important really happened during the winter months, except that I reached 100 subscribers on YouTube. I visited three more parks in 2018 with Kentucky Kingdom, Hershey Park, and King's Dominion. I rode some new coasters, including my favorite, Steel Vengeance. It was a great year, but 2019 was even better. In between the gaming videos, I went to Carowinds and Kennywood, one of my favorite parks and my least favorite park. But in August of 2019, I would make the best decision of my channel's lifetime. In August of 2019, I made two changes. First, I changed my channel. And second, I actually started caring about YouTube. 
Let me explain. From the start of my channel to August of 2019, I really wasn't taking YouTube seriously. My channel was more of a side thing I did when I didn't have anything to do. I wasn't making a video every day, maybe uploading twice a month. The reason for that was my gaming videos. Gaming videos is why my channel suffered. All of my gaming videos were awful. I didn't enjoy making these videos. In order to make a good gaming video, you had to be funny or rage at stupid things to make it enjoyable and fun to watch. Well, I tried to do that with all of my videos, but two things occurred. I didn't enjoy not being myself. This is also why I quit making reaction videos. I didn't enjoy purposely raging or trying to be funny to make it entertaining. The other thing was that all of my gaming videos were very rushed, and you could tell how sloppy they were. This is why when I started my new YouTube life with Coaster Legend, I deleted all of my gaming videos. There was only one gaming video left on my computer, and I am going to show that to you guys right now. Skywars! Hey, go to... Skywars? Two people. Two people, obviously. Um, Palace of the... Go to server 15. That's ice, ice, baby! <laughs> you don't know that song? Yeah, I, I do. Oh, Why did you spawn an ice bridge inside of me? Do you want um um two diamonds? I can take. I have. You, you only. We. I only. I only need one. You only need one. I only need one. I already have a diamond. I need a bow. Do you, uh, do you have a bow? I have a bow. Okay. Here's arrows. Uh. There's two I know. Give me the. Give me the arrows. I didn't mean to do that. Where'd the ice bridge go? Do you want another diamond sword? I have. What you have a diamond sword? I there there's there's um three. Okay, I'll take one. I don't have one. I crafted it. Here, here, take diamonds. I don't need diamonds. Just take them. Dude, we're doing so good. I know. Do you want more diamonds? No, I don't want any more diamonds. I have... Do you have any armor? I have a bunch of armor. Do you see how awful that was? It was so sloppy and just boring to watch. So I started taking YouTube seriously. I started uploading coaster content only because I enjoyed making it, and I started uploading on a schedule. In the two and a half year period of Coaster Gamer, I gained 200 subscribers. In the one and a half year period of Coaster Legend, I gained 600 subscribers. And it's because I took time making my videos. This graph is the subscriber gain over my channel lifetime. This part is Coaster Gamer, and this part over here is Coaster Legend. See the difference? I made one more change at the beginning of 2020 to really make my channel the best. That change is the reason why my channel has thrived over the past few months. I started writing scripts. Everything prior to that was just off the top of my head, which is not fun to make. I didn't get my point across due to it not being scripted. Now, I script everything, including this video. This order in my videos made it much easier to get my point across clearly and didn't enable me to stumble over my words. This is why my channel is so much better now than it was a few years ago. I was making higher quality videos with custom thumbnails and even bought new POV glasses. These new glasses, called Sunshine OHO Video Glasses, don't sound like a static TV, and instead, sound like a breeze on a summer day. It sounds so much better than the old pivot head glasses, and my POVs are doing better than ever. I visited more parks this year and reached over 90 credits. My family and I visited Dorney Park, Holiday World, and we went back to Hershey Park. I finally rode The Voyage and Candemonium and gained more subs than ever. I even started a new series including the Triggered series. Overall, I think 2020 was the best year of my life, even if some parts of it were terrible, like quarantine. And that brings me to now. I am still making videos about coasters that are scripted and are actually fun to watch. And speaking of which, if you enjoyed watching, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Comment below or email me if you have questions or concerns, and have a great rest of your day.